What's up people, this is Category 4 and I'm doing a random play episode of the Sky 5, The Lance of Vengeance. Uh, I tried out the demo for the game, I tried the Japanese demo out beforehand, it was fun. Uh, then I got the English demo when it when it came out and played through the first, the intro in the first chapter I think, or a bit of the first chapter, and yeah, stopped there. Picked up the game a month or two after it came out, so I, play, I installed the game but I haven't played it properly, so I'm going to just jump into it and play a bit of the game. Right. So there we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm still on the episode one, Prelude to Vengeance. I'm only level four. Okay, if you don't know the Disguise series that well, it's a fun series. The story is pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's kind. Of, it's an enjoyable game. It's a strategy RPG. If you've never played it before, big anime game. Uh, pretty much most of the games go off differently. Oh yeah, I did a bunch of DLC stuff to it. Okay, so this is kind of like the menu kind of thing where you get your equipment and stuff like that. Gain random items, you can level up and stuff, recruit uh, characters. Uh, start of it is pretty simple, just uh, try out the demo, see what you think, it gives you the quick breakthrough. Uh, breakthrough. Gives you a quick sum up of everything. Um, yeah. Uh, so, first of all, I'm going to say the main character design. I love it. When I first saw the trailer, I thought I was really excited. The character design is pretty, pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, this is like the female character that helps you out. Uh, what's that? Zero Life. Okay, she's not meant to. And DLC shop. Uh, okay. Apply DLC. Oh, okay. Uh, you can get the season pass for the game. It's on the PlayStation Network store, I think. Uh, uh, UK money about 28 quid I think it is. You get a bunch of stuff there. You can get download all the characters from previous games and stuff. So I want to give it a little check, check it out, just see what you think about it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna jump into a level, but first I've got to heal up my characters because I don't think I did that before I saved it last time. Uh, there she is, hospital. Let's fix you up. Okay, get treated. Yep, yeah, she's dead. He's dead. She's close to dead. Uh, heal. Yeah, square heals all. Okay. Claim prize. Oh, okay. Okay, so if you've never played a Sky game before, you don't have to play them in a certain order. They all go differently. Uh, the only thing is the first the first game and the Sky D2 are connected. But you can just jump into any Sky game really easily. Uh, it's my turn. Okay. Uh, which one do I go for? I'll go for this one. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh yeah, in this game you have to choose like the play. Oh no, yeah. okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so it's a strategy RPG. So as you can see here, pretty much the main part of everyone is just defeat the enemy. So you can go back, uh, level up your characters, you can go back and do more stuff. You can join the characters together. You can do awesome combos and stuff. It's pretty fun. So let's jump into it. Uh, skip demo. What's on the demo? Okay, yeah. For the first chapter, every level is pretty much a demo to help you learn something new about the game. So, let's go. Let's jump into the demo. Because if so, I can just skip it afterwards. Or halfway through and choose my own thing. Let's have a look, see. And the, actually, the voiceovers are actually pretty good as well. Even though it's what Sir Boyd Dark ordered, mm -hmm. fighting all this piece of crap is dulling okay. my... And the game is a rate 12, so there is probably some and there is some swearing in it. Take you guys on. And you can change the Japanese audio as well. So. <laughs> Looks like there are still some who seek to oppose Demon Emperor Void Dark's elite forces. I'll give you a choice: obey us or die. Okay. <laughs> I refuse to do. Okay, that. I'm just gonna skip because I can't be asked to go through all that. I'm feeling lazy. So you go, here's your portal where you just summon your characters out, you can see the square grids and stuff. There's like a tutorial bit at the bottom that helps you go for everything. Uh, all the enemy characters, you just gotta defeat them all. So let's go, okay. Let's go. Okay. Move him here. Let's get another random character like uh, Ser Serafina, go uh, there. And this is pretty much how it goes down. So you just attack, click. If you've got a character next to you like this, it's pretty cool. You just do a execute to start whatever action you've chosen Let's go. and they just do a cool combo and that's just from the start of the game so the combos get a lot a lot better and stuff uh, I should have moved the rover a little bit actually 
Oh well. Okay, let's see what else we got. So this is a character I, you pretty much hire, kind of. Uh, so you can even lift and throw characters. So if you're not close enough, you can throw them a little bit further and stuff, which is cool. And that means you can move uh, just for better attacks. Okay, so he's almost dead. Um, and I just end my turn. Let's see what they can do. Here we are. At the start of the game, it seems like you're really overpowered, but after a while, it does start to drain a bit. And you notice how harder the enemies do get. Okay. Uh, let's see. Lost army box. Can I attack that? Because yeah, I can. Let's break the box. Marshal up. So yeah. And you can see the stats at the bottom of my character screen, just under his H, his health bar, and his, uh, special bar. Like his speed, damage, all this kind of different stuff. Uh, you can display his range for attacks and stuff, which is pretty cool. That's a cactus. <laughs> and that's in there. Okay, so, you've, so as you can tell, it's not as slow paced as it seems. It's actually pretty decent for its pace. So let's attack him. Attack him. With him next to him, they both break into a combo. And the combos depend on the characters, so even though they look similar, it's just the start of the game pretty much. I haven't gone that far into it. That's it. Since he didn't get to attack, I can still move him around stuff, which is cool. Uh, let's do... Let's get some distance. Uh, yeah. And then I can move him closer and do some more stuff. Let's see what specials he's got. Triple strike. Uh... Unfortunately, no, I can move him back so I can cancel what I just did. Move him there. Uh, special. Unfortunately, that, where the yellow box is, there's got to be a gap. So, I've got to adjust accordingly to where he has to go. So, I can go here because the special move hits the enemy and there's a space where the yellow should be. So, I can do it. And uh, execute. You can add weapons and stuff. I Pretty sure you can still fuse characters in this game. Uh, the easiest characters you get are the Perinis, which are pretty much like the mascot for the Sky series, kind of. They're in every single game. They're in the anime, they're in the manga, they're in everything. They even get their own. Um, they even have their own two games as well, which is pretty funny. Uh, let's see, what I want to do? Okay, stand here. Uh, I'm going to put him here. Okay. There we are. Take her out, because she's an easy target. And you can see the bar on the right goes up, so the more combos you do and moves, it goes up, and then you get a bunch of like items and extra stuff, which is cool. Uh, let's get her here, she's like the healer. Uh, yeah. And you've got the Perinis, which are just funny. You get just such random names, like Benjamin and Len. You can create your own character's name, you can customize the colors and stuff. Like this fighter guy here, his original color was red. You can make their personality, which is pretty cool. The name I just came up randomly with, or I, you can just randomize a name. Okay. Uh, one toss, magic change. Yes. So the Premiers, even though they're easy characters, they've got a lot of use to them. They're kind of just funny to use. <clears throat> there we are. It's done. Uh, now I've got to try and make my way back because so the way they they actually set it up like a puzzle as well. So you've got to throw a character here. And then throw another one up here. So you got to kind of connect it properly. So I've got to try and get back to the other team as fast as I can. So if I stand here, get her. Oh no, oh god, I've done that the wrong way. Sorry, done that the wrong way around. So she's meant to go here. Okay, move her here. And then you lift. Oh, no, I'm wrong way around. Lift her. And you lift her. So there's, there's a lot of strategy and little fun stuff to do. And then you throw her here. And she hasn't got a special move yet. And just attack. And she's lost a lot of life there, which is kind of not unexpected, I guess. Uh, okay. There we go. And then I'll show you this one, which is pretty cool. Uh, she's target throw. Yep. And major change. Yeah. So you do this way. So as the series has gone on, they've added more stuff to it. So magic change is like fusing them together, kind of. Uh, so I could turn them into a sub weapon. 
So, and little animations are pretty cool as well. I really like them. And there you go, you've got a preemie sword, which is actually really cool. I love this game so much. The series is just fun. The stories are pretty interesting. Some of them are kind of ridiculous, but they're also just fun at the same time. I love it. So let's end the turn there. And pretty much you lose when you lose all your characters. But after a certain point when you lose your best ones and you've got your weaker ones, you just kind of give up. And he's jumped down, which means he can't go back up there, I don't think. So that means... I think I can jump down still, which is good. Uh... Yes. Okay, so now I want to finish him with this one. So if I can get a character there, I can throw him. So I need somebody to get there. So I think she can hop up. Yep, she's not that far off. Lift her and throw her down. About here. I can move Kelia just here. She can lift him up and angle him properly. So like that. And he blew up, I'm not even sure how I did that. Well that was too- oh, I think it's the Perini. Whenever you throw a Perini they explode. <laughs> so that means Giacomo is my best character this round. <laughs> yeah, let's get the demo. I'm not even sure what the demo was. Uh, okay, let's just go for the next one since I messed up. Oh, wait, I don't think I healed him. So that means... Uh, oh, okay, no, I can't do this. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I have to give up. Okay. I think it does an auto save feature, or you can choose. Uh, she's got an exclamation mark, meaning she's got to say some stuff to say. And it has these small little skits and stuff, which is kind of fun. So yeah, if you get small skits and stuff, you get the same in like the Tales series, you get little small, little comical bits. And then you go back to the hospital, who's your character, you can recruit more, just get a bigger team and stuff. So the game's uh, quite fun, let's see, like items, there's all the different items you can get, you get weapon items, just equipment, clothing and stuff, healing items, all this cool stuff. Right. So just general RPG stuff. You can look at your team, I think there's a limit to what you can have. Uh, you can select what who you want in your team for fighting others that you can swap around and stuff. There's a lot of DLC out there, so Where would you like to go, if you ever think there's not enough, there's a lot to look up online for, on the store and stuff. Let's try this one. Okay. It gives you a lot to go into detail with, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, you can also rotate the uh, map around. Uh, I forgot how to, but... You can zoom out as well. Oh, there it is. Camera controls is this. Yeah. So you get more of a broad view of the map. Yeah. Let's just get some fighting done. Usually I play in one certain style, then I change it up as I'm playing, that kind of thing, so... Okay. There we are. Punch. Punch. So this is like a... Random play, more of a brief intro into the game, I guess. Uh, there we go, put her there. Let's go. Grab. Oh, no, wrong way around. Can she lift it? Yes, yeah. she can. And then put him there, that means he'll be the next target. Since he's my strongest, it'll get easily wiped out or it'll just be better. There we go. Okay, Jacoma, I'm gonna move. Ah, I should have put him there first. Uh, Killian will finish him off. 
Marsh for another phantom though. So there we go, that's a new special move. Since he's more hand to hand combat kind of a character. Or a brawler kind, she, there's different moves you can learn. Uh, they decide not to make a move, so it means I get to make a move. Okay. Uh, yeah, put him up here. Oh, actually, I'm going to see if I can show off his new move. So we're going to special, phantom blow. So yeah, so as long as I get enemies in that, even if, if I got my own teammates in it, they'll get hit as well. So there's an accuracy bar which tells how much the chance of me hitting the opponent as well. Uh, Giacomo, I'm going to move here. I should be able to move her a little bit further along. And I'll use these to take out the guys here. There we are. Okay, he'll attack. And the character I've got left over is Abrini. So I'm going to move him there. And magic change with her. So get the sword. Uh, let me try Benjamin. See if there's a difference because I'm pretty sure they change weapons depending on the character, or it's the or it's the, uh, it's the level of the characters or something like that. So he's going to turn into a sword, but he can turn them into different weapons. So hmm, plus two to the fray that turns them into weapons. Magic change. Yeah. So I'll just leave it there. End turn. See if the enemy does anything. Yep, there we are. There we are. Oh, he's angry. I'm not even sure that does. I'm not even gonna lie. So if I move one and then do his new special move, why is he all charged up like this? Uh, and then let's see, move her there. The preenies are really low level, so it's not gonna last long. But I can at least uh, make a move. Take that one down. Uh, I'm gonna move Len here. Oh, I can't. Uh, let's get Alicia. Put her there. Okay. And execute. And now, there we go. And I took out both. He levels up. These two team up. You just see how, how over the top these are. It's really funny. So you see the bar on the right's going up. That means when I complete this, I get some free stuff at the end. Like some items and extras. I'm not even sure what the R does. So probably listen to the tutorial. There we go, that's one piggy done. Uh, I'm not even sure what that does. Uh, menu. Let's think the help bar. Oh, no. Okay. Let's talk about stealing items, current stages. Uh. Attitudes. There's a lot of stuff in this. Uh, oh, for revenge and over. Okay. When you receive a touch from an enemy, your revenge and charge when it pulls up all the way. Revenge mode will activate. Your revenge mode will also charge, change when your allies are defeated or defeat an enemy. Of those. Okay, yeah. So this is something they put new into this game. So yeah, I just do more damage while the bar is full. Okay. So while that bar is full, my, uh, my character does a lot of damage. So that's special wit. Let's do a triple blow. Okay, and let's let these guys finish him off. She, she could attack from anywhere, so I'm going to throw Len in there just so he gets some experience as well. And execute. Lilia will finish him off. That's pretty easy. There you go. Which sounds about right, yep. And that's it pretty much, just a quick run run through of um, the Sky of Five. It's a good game, there's a lot more to it than that, this is just the simple easy stuff right at the start of the game. I'd say, uh, look at the demo on the PlayStation Network, try it out. There is a number of other games, there's obviously another four games and another one aside from that. There's some other 
side games as well. There's like um, a side-scrolling game for the prenies. There's a sequel to that one as well. There's even a Disgaea game uh, visual novel kind of on the PSP as well, which connects with the series and alternative storylines. There's an anime series. Literally look on the look up. There's a lot of stuff in Disgaea. It's a good series. The anime is quite fun. Uh, the first game and anime are pretty close together, I, I guess. Uh, there's a release for the first game on uh, the first two games you can get them on the PS2, which are kind of hard to get hold of, PSP, and I believe on the DS. So, have a look around, there's a manga series as well, I think, from. But yeah, so this was just a rough little go through of the game. If you want me to do more stuff on this, not just tutorial stuff like proper playing, just let me know. Just put it down in the comment section, tweet me telling me what you want me to do. See if you want me to play this. If not, there's other games I want to try out. Um, I may start. I might randomly tweet or post a video suggesting a few games and then you choose out of them which ones I play, maybe. I don't know. So yeah, so uh, and just like old school you save it yourself, so that means it's not auto saved. Well there is, no there isn't, there isn't auto save. So it means you can save where you are, so that means if you lose in a fight or you're doing really badly you don't have to continue it. It's kind of old school, a little bit like that. There we are, save complete, done. You can change the voices, there's a lot of stuff to do in it. Yeah, no, I also save and turn off. Save icon, you can do a lot of customization stuff. So yeah, this was my quick uh, random play of Disguise Five. Tell me what you thought of the game. Do you like it? Do you like the series? What do you like? What would you recommend uh, to new players of it? How would you best describe the game? Just your thoughts and opinions on the the series, the game. Uh, give me some feedback on the video. What you liked, what you didn't like. Maybe check out some of my other stuff. And yeah, so I'm doing a range. I may move all my game stuff to another channel. Just for my random play stuff, I might not. I'm not sure. Right, so yeah. So this is uh, so this is my um, this is the end of the episode. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me down below on my Twitter. Check out my other links down below. Check out my other videos. Let me know what you think. This is Kazuhiro Four saying thank you and goodbye.